Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I am joined by Christian and Anna. Good evening. Hey. So tonight we are doing a an incredibly enthralling review of uh, of a couple figures here that are a deep cut. Um, that's a repaint of a siege figure. So yay! A repaint Ooh. of the same siege figure twice as the same person in different colors, released at roughly the same time. Which is interesting. Yeah, it's pretty strange. Because how long has it been since we got a deep cover toy? Officially or unofficially? Officially. About eighteen years. And then we get two. Are they making up for lost time, you think? I don't know. I don't think this blue one is deep cover. I don't think it is either. When you get two of the but same person, say, you have to say it is. Them. I don't believe them. That's why mine has a chest set. So is there... Yes. Um, <laughs> is there a, uh, a reason why Hasbro, or like really a lot of these companies where they like release the same figure multiple times like or, or you know like right at the same time like cheat uh the cheetor is kind of the same way where what the, we've got like three cheetors now two unless the reissue comes out early but yeah what about but the red? red came out about the same red time oh and regular. red i always forget and about red how many rcs do we get at the last at the same time a bunch we got roughly the MP, the um, Earthrise, and the Cyberverse all just about the same time. Yep, and Kingdom is now here too, and Earthrise is back for some reason. Yeah, it, it is the same. Exactly the same. It is exactly the same. We will not be reviewing the differences between Kingdom RC no. and Earthrise RC because there are none. It's packaged I think actually is one. But... I think there is a slight difference. I think the. Um... I think... Isn't the tampo the... I think the Autobot symbol's different. The Autobot symbol's slightly different. It's the same. We don't need to okay. talk about it. We don't that's, talk. We that's, talk that's how much we're talking about it. That was it. We're that done. The review of Kingdom yeah. RC. Congrats. For some reason, it's probably the same, mostly. So weird. I don't know yeah, what's Yeah, you're kind of behind it yourself. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know, everything looks normal from my perspective, but I'm not really looking at the feed yeah, too yours, often. Yeah, yours is fine. Christian's fine. Oh, I know yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. You've got people in the background, too, you know? One. <laughs> I live with one other people. Yeah, I'm, I'm just surprised. Yeah, it's, it's proof. I live with another person. Surprise. <laughs> and none of my Transformers can talk, so must be a human. And my dogs can't talk either, probably. So let's move on and talk about this figure. So oh, Anna wanted to start in vehicle mode, Christian, because she said that she had some Fine. huge complaint or something. Go do it then. Well, yeah. So first thing to establish, because we got two of the figure at the same time, I have decided to repurpose this as being deep blue instead of deep cover because, you know, deep and it's blue. So it became deep blue, and because sure. it's deep blue, I got a nice little chess set for it, because it's a chess-playing computer that will defeat all of its enemies at the game of chess. So it became a new character for me, because it needed to. And funny thing is, I don't actually have the other deep cover, so now I have no deep covers. And I don't really care, because deep cover didn't really have any meaning to me. And deep blue does. It's more fun. But to start talking about the toy itself, you know, it's Sideswipe again. It's the same car mode. It's that same, like, uncanny valley between Earth mode and Cybertronian mode, where it's almost an Earth mode, but just, like, you know, it doesn't really have space for doors or side windows, so it's a little off. You'd have to change it a little teeny bit to make it a real Earth mode. Well, that it was before. But <clears throat> instead of getting rid of our favorite thing... The battle damage they have actually made the battle damage worse on yeah. this one than it was on the first side swipe i think i like it better i think the, really? the battle damage on the new figures yeah like on the netflix stuff i i think that they've like kind of done a better job with it what's why do you not like it 
because there's scratches all along the windshield. Even oh, if you want to take cool. out the fact, even if you want to take out the fact that he's not a passenger vehicle because he's Cybertronian mode, there's nowhere else for his eyes to be. So that has to be where his like visual perception is. It's got giant scratches all over it. It's sad. It's not sad. a very good driver. Not not anymore. Not with all of this. Yeah. I don't know. I, I will think say, it looks cool, I, personally. I'm, like, in the middle of the two of you on this one. I think using the silver paint on this for battle damage does make it look better than, like, the mud paint they've been using. That's true. I agree with that. And they've applied it in such a way that it, it's not, like, oh, it's just mud trapped all over this by a, you know, cat or something. This is, like, oh, this clearly got into battle. That's why there's damage. And it's the metal underneath. You got it. Okay. Right. But... I also don't really like the placement on the windshield very much. So the windshield is just messy. It's the and if windshield. I had to choose, I'd have no battle damage at all. And then I mean, the black spot on the hood, like that's I, not a big problem in car mode, I don't but know. in robot Cons- mode. Considering just... that we have like 20 versions of this mold, like I'm fine with it. I don't have a problem. Yeah, totally. Except this is my favorite one now because it's deep blue. So deep blue. <laughs> no, because it's deep blue. <laughs> Because I like oh. my own reference. I've convinced <laughs> yes. myself this is the best version. Okay. Yes. But otherwise, I mean, I think the blue is a good choice. It's a good color. It goes with the black. The silver, actually, I would prefer that it was like silver highlights instead of silver battle damage. Like it had a couple silver stripes or something like that, like a normal car. Silver but rims. It does. It does. It does have nice looking silver rims. So I'm curious. So the, the blue paint on this is like a matte paint um yeah. and it's completely covered in paint i'm curious how well that blue paint is gonna hold up i mean i guess considering it has battle damage all over maybe that's part of the reason they did that is you know that way you don't have to worry about it if you scratch some of the paint because he's he's battle damaged i don't know that is true so, none of the blue is plastic is it nope uh no no not the legs nope. i'm sure the legs aren't okay don't believe so. Yeah, they're the, they're the same gray. Okay. I think it's all because like this is kind of yeah. The I can only see one tiny spot yeah. where like a lot of them are paint are gray and then they're painted over. That's true. They are. Yeah, the stamp maybe. Yeah, you might see be. just a little teeny bit of it. It's not. Yeah, you can see the gray here. On the tab, you on can see it. Yeah. So why is this blue? I mean, the obvious answer is that it's at Walmart. Walmart likes blue figures. <laughs> Done. Like that's that's the answer. They probably had to be like, okay, we we'll, we'll take this whole assortment, three waves of crap, if you give us a blue figure. And Hasbro's like, fine, here's a blue figure. I don't know why so, they would use deep cover. Probably because they just got it back. But uh, this vaguely looks like G2 GoBots sideswipe. Not G2 like deluxe Autobot car sideswipe, but the GoBots version. It needs yellow to make that happen, but it's close, kind of. So, so my question is, like is would you have rather have had a blue blue streak? Hmm. I guess, but not that I don't like this. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure the D cover is just a you know a name to put on it because they had it around. But uh, this is obviously, yeah. besides being blue for Walmart, it's just some generic dude in the background of the show. That's. That's There's really one what who it looks is, remarkably yes. like this in season one. There, there you go. But it's that we, guy. We we had talked about Christian that we wanted all of those generic dudes. Yeah. Um, so, and yeah, they are. And I'm happy to have them. Yeah. No. I I actually I like it it's, too. And and honestly, to be honest, I was actually kind of thinking in my own head canon that the, all the siege figures could I just pretend that they're not actually. Ultra Magnus and Optimus Prime and whatever that they're other guys like Deep Blue or whatever so that I could still keep them as figures because I like the figures but I don't like having 50 Optimus Primes. Definitely. Mm. I mean I think that's always a valid way to deal with your extra collectibles is to say that they're clones or extras or decoy bodies or whatever. Spare bodies. Other this people. was definitely one of the sharper looking uh, paint decos of this mold. I know we've gotten it a lot. I still want a couple more, but this is definitely one of the sharper ones. Mm-hmm. 
I think this one actually told me how much I want. So this is being recorded not long, just a few days after the reveal of the Earth Mode Mirage in the two-pack, right? And that Mirage is both subtly remolded and also not so subtly remolded. And it just looks that much better as a car. And actually, after looking at it for a while, better as a robot, too. I would actually like that level of remolding on the sideswipe mold. Like it's I'm just it's happening. I hope so. I hope it really yeah, does happen. There's a listing for it. Right. I really hope that that's it's that now. Like as much as I'm frustrated with the idea of these like slight remolds that have the exact same engineering but different looks. I feel like this is just like an inch away from being a perfect sideswipe guy for me. All right, that one's gonna drive me crazy. I promise it'll drive me crazy. If they just do Sideswipe and maybe Red Alert, I could probably stomach it. But otherwise, I kind of want them to do all of them again, and I'll buy all of them again. Because yeah. I'd rather them be in the Earth mode than I would... Will you make a butterfly mode. wall like you did with your Seekers? <sighs> maybe. Cool. That's nice. Like, well, you know, Clamp Down and Deep Cover and Tiger Track and... Chichu Sideswipe and Deep Blue. Just get all of them. All of them. Do it. I don't know. It kind of frustrates me with all of these where it's like the figures are like I like the Kingdom versions or whatever, like the Earthrise versions slightly better. Um, but then there's things I like about the old ones versus the new ones. And it's like, I can't, I, I can't bring myself to, you know, sell the siege stuff like, but I really should because it's like, why do I need, you know, all these versions of, of these? And I think I still have the classics version and God knows what else. Oh, the combiner wars version. And So far, I think I universally like the earth modes better. I think, Oh no, not optimus. Okay. i I always forget that the Optimus is like the first example of that. It is, but I like the Siege better. It's a more fun toy to me. One reason or another. Like, it's... There's so many Earth Mode Optimus Primes in the world that I don't mind having one that's just like a little Uncanny Valley Earth Mode. So, I like it better. But I think that's the only exception for me. I Hmm. think otherwise... Well, the Megatrons doesn't even matter. It's barely different. But... So are you going to get Ultra Magnus then, Anna? No, because the only reason I'm even keeping my Siege Ultra Magnus is because my dog peed on his box. (laughs) So I can't sell him anymore. Well, I can't sell him in box anymore. I was going to say, like, you can sell it loose, I guess. I can still sell it loose, but... No, just the box. But I think that was the little nudge I needed to go ahead and buy the fancy leg upgrade from DNA and keep it. It's not a terrible figure. As far as Ultra Minuses go, it's fine. I'm starting to think that you're like getting your dog to pee on your stuff just so that you don't sell them. It's happened like twice ever, so probably not. <laughs> mm. Okay. I just hear the stories of them, I suppose. Yeah, this this was this was um what is it called? Pandemic related because he hadn't been alone in the house in so long. He had a fit, which, but you know, it happens. So anyway, about this robot guy, I'm really happy to have it because A, it's an obscure character. B, I made it even more obscure by making it my own thing. C, it got me to buy a tiny chess set, which is really fun to post my Transformers up. So that's great. But it, it looks good, too, you know, and I was just thinking about it earlier when I was playing with this, like when I transformed it to car mode, that was like the 10th time I've transformed this one, you know, just having him around. I've transformed him over and over and over because he's simple. He's quick. He's intuitive. He's fun to play with. And that's just like a really nice thing to just have laying around. So you kind of understand why they've made so many of this figure because it really is like, it may not be the most like visually striking robot mode transformer ever, but it is just like transformer, you know, it's really good at doing what it does. So go buy more of it. Yay. Mm. Yeah, You can buy more of it. Like the other one we're reviewing. Ta-da. Deep cover. <laughs> Now, is he actually black and purple, not black and blue? 
He's no. black and very dark blue. Very dark blue. Yeah. Okay. It's darker than royal blue. It's almost purple, but not huh. quite. Say, so this is the one that is accurate to previous things named Deep Cover, correct? Yes, this is real Deep Cover, not generic dude with Deep Cover's name. And as matte as Deep Blue was, um, Deep Cover is actually very glossy in the black. Probably because it's the actual plastic color and black plastic that Hasbro uses always looks really good. Here he is. His face looks really cool in that blue color. And like most Selects figures are doing now, it comes with all of the accessories that are attached to the mold. It comes with the rocket launcher and the gun, whereas Deep Blue only had the rocket launcher. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I don't like in vehicle mode is, is I just don't like the clear um, windshield. Like I kind of wish that it was, you know, there was some type of, frost or like semi-transparency on it like i don't know i just don't really like the being able to see all the way through it is that the same clear purple that they use in barricade no it's clear gray it's clear oh okay got it yeah you're missing the light bar there christian what the it's it doesn't have the light bar on it though you, you could put the no, light bar. No, it does not have the light bar. That's correct. That's true. So, there Sorry, you go. Rod, it's not coming Rod with Mitt. all the accessories. Thanks, yeah. Rob. I'm not sure you're telling me that I threw away a part. So, so fun fact about this deep cover. Uh, due to the character's special ability, this is one of the very few Transformers that is in a one-to-one -one scale. There's your trivia for the night. There's your trivia for the night. He can shrink. He does shrink. I think it's pretty nifty. You know, here he is. It's, you know, we just reviewed one side swipe mold. Here's here's another one. So we got two all at once. They're both named Deep Cover. They're both great. One of them actually is Deep Cover. One of them is not. I hope they keep going. I need a clamp down that isn't a custom made by me. I'd still like to see Armada Wheeljack. I came up with another one that I'd like to see that I don't remember anymore. Like, this is a good mold. I'm not tired of it yet. It's just, I, I know a lot of people are. I would prefer, see, I prefer the thing that would completely mess with you, where they do the earth mode, but they keep going where they left off. So they yes. just do clamp down and they just, just do Armada wheel jack yeah. and they just do um, yep. side swipe and they stop. They don't redo I'd anyone be else. So mad. That would well, drive right Christian on. wild. It would. It would. It truly would. Yes, it would. I know. But it would be great to be because then I could have a variety of obscure characters in this mold, which would be fine. Yeah, I, I, I said what I needed to say about the Earth mode. I'm excited for it coming because it'll look great as Sideswipe with Sunstreaker. That, that makes sense. Yep. The, and Red probably makes sense because he can hang out with Inferno beyond that they could stop or if they're not going to stop and even do all of them again and i'll buy all of them i really will i promise hasbro i will buy all of them in earth mode just like i bought all of them in cybertronia mode just you have to make a covenant with me to do all of them uh chris is trying to make a death pact with hasbro i am Ron says I like the, it. Rum the rumor is is that uh, Earth Mode Red Alert is a Walgreens exclusive. So I've heard that, that rumor as well. Walgreens does like to have health and emergency related dudes as their uh, Oh, that's, that's a good now. idea. Yeah, they do like to have ratchets and stuff. You know, I actually did not get that connection with the ratchet. Going to a pharmacy to buy an ambulance. Right. That's cool. Yeah, I like it. It's stylish. Like red dudes. The clones were red. <laughs> red Gar is, I guess, what they had available. Not sure. About yeah, it's that. funny because you just gave your little spiel on, well, Walmart wanted a blue dude because Walmart likes blue. And I was just like, that's ridiculous, Christian. This is the dumbest thought since I've ever heard. No, it's a, no, but then it's a after, real thing. You, after you made the argument about Walgreens and then I know the thing about Target, like yeah, red Target things. likes red characters, Walmart likes blue <sighs> characters. That's, that's totally a thing. That's why half of the Marvel Legends Captain Americas go to Walmart. Because they also like to be seen as patriotic. That's true. It's a it's a real thing. I'm not making it up. It's 
It's a real way. How fun. That's so, like, how do you feel about getting to... Because we know that I didn't get two sideswipe molds at the same time. Christian likes it because he can have them be two different characters. One being the generic and one being true true blue deep. Then, I know, I, I tried. Just put the, put the words in any order. I mean, <laughs> I right. think that they're... Uh, they're it, it, so, so one thing is I really like getting these, um, like the Diaclone repaints, whatever, like all, all those mm-hmm. types of things, um, as like mainline figures instead of masterpieces, because like, yes. I don't, you know, I don't really have a ton of nostalgia for it. Like I like to have it to check a box, but not necessarily that I need to pay, you know, however many dollars on, on the fancy version of it. Um, I think that both of these are done really well. Like the paint on it is really nice. Um, I, I do think that the uh, the black one like just reminds me a lot of the G2 Sideswipe. Um, you know, I mean, obviously that one's red and black. This one's blue and black. But, um, you know, so with that, like, I, I don't know. I like the blue one better, even though it's not accurate at all. Just because, like, I like having the different colors, if that makes any sense. Like, I know that's I'm, a random thing. I'm actually surprised we got, you know, deep cover out of this mold, considering that G2 Sideswipe exists. We know they don't like doing molds in the same color a lot. Unless it's, like, same character repaints. You know, we get, you know, a dozen Optimuses out of that mold or whatever. But, like, it's a black Sideswipe and now a black Sideswipe. So it's like... Why did that happen? But I'm glad it did because they're you know different people. It's the same concern I have for them doing Red Alert and Clamp Down because those are both white characters. It just makes me wish even more that they would have done the G2 Sideswipe with all the green. I wish they would have done I, that. I, I, I know oh, that, you can. Man, I know you get toy been... hacks it and get the green, but well, that set that sold out because I tried to order it last week. Yeah, it would have been a nice to have. Yes, it would have been very nice to have. That would have been so much more fun. Like, it's cool the way it is, but if it would have had that neon green, oh, neon green just oozes G2, so it's perfect. You can also get, um, who is it, the non-F or whatever, made an upgrade kit for G2. He actually made a couple upgrade kits for G2 Sideswipe. Um, oh, with, like, the weapons the, and stuff? The neon, yeah, so one of them, he, you could get the neon green G2 and, like, blue and stuff, and then the other one, you could get the, like bandolier and you know crazy weapons and all that kind of I'll stuff. I'll see if his is still in stock because I know the the Reaper labels or the Toy Hacks one isn't in stock right now. Yeah I don't know if the Toy Hacks stuff if they've I think it sounds like they've been kind of going on a uh, smaller crew lately yeah. so I don't know if that's part of the issue that they've just had trouble getting getting labels out and whatnot. So are there, um, because I know Nona have made all those spoilers for this mold. Did they make spoilers for these two yet? Not yet. And they they canceled the one for Tiger Track. Okay. So there's there's black, white, and red. That's it. Okay. Huh. I wonder if they just didn't get enough sales in the Tiger Track one or what? It didn't go up for sale as far as I know. I was watching. Oh, Tiger I mean, Track was weird. Like, I feel like no one talked about that when it came out. Like, you know that it's a repeat, but we're talking about this one. Did no one talk really about talked about it? Tiger Track. Did we not talk about him? I assumed we did. I didn't think we did. Did we? I don't remember doing it. But I forget I half the shows, back. apparently. Someone check the archive. No. Yeah. Too lazy. Super fans, check the archive. Yeah. You're right. We may not uh, have. Ron, uh, Ron mentions too that the legs really pop on the selects deep cover, and I, I do agree with that. Yes, um, I do really like the blue that they used on on that. So I think that his his bot mode looks really good, and it's also don't nice ever to get a figure. Let the that sun does... hit this; it's so brilliantly white. Don't ever let it hit the sun. Um, it, it's also nice to get a version of the character that doesn't have space mud and. and battle damage whatnot so yes 
Yeah, because this version has the the intense amounts of space mud on the lower legs, which is a bummer. And that one actually gets cool little details on the molded part of the plastic, which I really like in figures. I like when they have the molding on it that they actually put color on it to help draw that out. Like I've yeah. I've gone back and done that with Gundam markers before, just because I get so annoyed at all these sculpted details that are supposed to have color. So. I think it's great on that one. I'm a little jealous of that one. Like, I'm not going to get it because I don't need well, go, 50 go million. Get it. You don't have a deep cover now. so you Nope, don't need it. Deep blue. Deep blue killed deep cover and took his life. I mean, I, I do so think there's the a battle serious. damage, like, I like it the best on this figure. Um, or maybe the hound. I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't really mind it as much on those. I don't like it as much on the Siege Optimus. Um, but I think it's really fluid on the hound myself, but I know other people don't agree. Yeah. I like it on the hound too. It's, I mean, it's fine. Like I think I'd probably prefer it without it, but you know, whatever. I don't mind it. If they wanted to throw me an earth mode hound that didn't have space mode, I'd be all for it. That might make me get rid of my masterpiece hound. Cause I kind of hate him. As you know, from watching the show. <laughs> Yeah, I think once they do Sideswipe, that'll be the last Earth mode that didn't get done from Siege. Is that right? That sounds right. Yeah. Oh, the Hound, right? Sure. Or yeah, you're hound. saying Hound is the last one that hasn't gotten Yeah, hound, hound would be the last one. I think Hound would be the uh, last one, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Shockwave doesn't have an Earth mode. Yeah, so Impactor, cool. same way. Yeah. Springer yeah, doesn't. Cool. A-Face doesn't. Yeah, not really. Yeah, we do have. Yeah, because the weaponizers don't either. Yeah, they so. are pretty right. accurate, or at least interpretations of being accurate. Yeah. So yeah, that would be it. So yeah, Hound would complete this. Just go ahead and do it at this point. Just do it. Right? Yeah, exactly. I don't want like, Hound to be the one Cybertronian dude in that art crew. Just, just do it. Even though he honestly just looks like a normal Jeep, really. But <laughs> just on Kenny Valley levels, it's just like with the Sideswipe. It's like it's almost a real Jeep, but it's just a little weird. In the wrong color. Right? What, what about getting the, the brunt color. molds in Devastator colors? That's uh, Jacob mentioned that in the, in the chat. Cool. Sure. I, I take why, it. why would you like that, Jacob? I haven't heard of that before. It sounds cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think I think it would sound like really cool. Like I love that neon gr green uh, color. So I think it would look cool too. Now, would you want to get six of it friends. and make your own like weird Brunsostator? Like an Anna thing to do. That is an uh, Anna thing to do. J Jacob said said that he saw a custom. Ah. Uh, oh, cool. So that makes sense. So. I guess the hands kind of vaguely look like the mini Constructicons from Spotlight Ramjet. There you go. See, you're making those deep connections. That's what you keep me on the show to do. Sure. <laughs> I thought we just liked you. Yeah. No. So, Christian, having both of the figures, if you could only get yeah. one, which one would it be? Deep cover, because he's a pre-existing guy. You don't have Sorry. to ask me that question. I like Deep Blue a little bit better as far as paint goes, but if I can only pick one, I'm picking the character that exists. Not generic guy. Yeah. But that means that in that world, Christian and I could hang out and have the complete set because I would want this one. Yeah. I think I'm on the same page as you that I like the blue one better, but I like having the accurate one too. So. Yeah. Deep Cover is part of it. Whereas Deep Blue is just some guy in the background with no lines. It's because he doesn't really understand language. He only understands he's, chess. He's no cog. Not even a scrap face. Nope, not even a scrap face. You know I never got a scrap face. What? I just let it I just let it go. I just let it go. Oh, I man. said scrap face is good. I don't scrap need such a good. obscure character that's gonna show up once ever. I let him go. He flew out the airlock. Ever, but Anna, you're all about ago. obscure characters. 
I am. I am. You just can't be about all of them or else you go poor. Just wait till New Age and Magic Square make scrap face repaints of their figures. There, there you go. Oh, jeez. You know Still need my masterpiece. Too. Or my 3-0 COG. Any version of COG I will now buy. <laughs> He's the best Transformer there is. Wow. Go get him, COG. The ultimate robot in disguise. <laughs> That's just so bad. What? The show is so bad. The the scene the show. The Netflix show. Yeah. 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 yeah I'm, I love seeing how like over time everyone's everyone's ratings of that are going down. Because at first you were a little more favorable. But as time passes, you've just been going boop, 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 boop. Well, when the second season came out, it's like, wow, okay. This, yeah. this really isn't good at all. Yes. Yeah, but barely luckily, any redeeming qualities. You don't really Kong. have to pretend this guy is from it because he both is and isn't. That's true. He's just because sure dude. he's a background character that's blue, maybe or not, maybe. because he's never Kinda. named or does anything. So ta da! Otherwise, he's just a corporate sellout. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you could have him as the transformer that works for Walmart. <laughs> yep, that's who he is. His name would be Rollback. They're perfect. I'm going to call him that now. See, that's the other option. That's he's, amazing. He's deep Blue Ari's Rollback. I it sounds like a Transformers a name. name. It, does. it does sound like a Transformers name. Uh, that's it. This is Rollback now. Oh, Anna, thank you so much. I've been looking for a Transformer name for him for a while. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. You didn't see Deep Blue, was, so. It was good. I didn't dig it, but I liked it enough and was comfortable keeping it. Rollback is way better. Yeah, it's actually pretty funny. It's really great. So you can just uh, get a, a little Walmart sticker on him. That would be very I'm funny. Gonna... Approved. Um, see, see, there you go, uh, Christian. We need more nicknames from Anna. Of I'm of... so Steve, happy. Every once in a while. Every I'm once in a while. Nicknames you like. Throwing it out there. Once in once in four years, you can come up with a good one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, so uh, Randall says he's excited to cover Kingdom and Book Club. So there you go. Uh, if Cog is not back, I'm going to riot. And if they don't say this war at least a hundred times, I'm going to be very sad. <laughs> you have like a drinking game with that would be on the floor? Yeah. How I don't old do we have to Kingdom? We don't know. Oh, is it not? Okay. I thought we were giving a month. It's mysterious. It should be out in like next month or July. I thought it was like June, July or something. Yeah. If they really killed Cog at the last episode, at the last season, I'm really mad. I mean, they did, but maybe not. Who <laughs> yeah. no, coming but... back. Yeah, we can hold out hope until the next show comes out. He'll come He's back the as a only trap. good character in the show. All right. Well, no, I think Alita was good. I really Alita do. Is, yeah. Is pretty good. Like Cog, way up here, and then down here, Alita, and then like and way Fire? down anywhere else, probably Jetfire, and then like yeah. everybody else. Jetfire was fine. I mean, he was just Dinobot, but he was fine. Yeah. I still would have liked to have seen. We, I think we know the Netflix series of toys is over, right? There's no more. Nice. I. Uh, Still would have liked to have seen a Moon Racer from the yeah. CG mold rather than the I guess the, the Prime's mold. I'd like to see a Moon Racer from anything else. I'd prefer to have a Moon Racer out of the Sideswipe mold. Yeah, yeah, I know, but she Could existed and then got, on this. She got zombified. She got eaten. I also still, 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 still. I say it every time we talk about it. Still with like a three pack of multicolored cogs. I would take it. Green, yellow, and red. Just uh, yeah, bring them to me. Seriously, I'm, I still want that. Yeah, that would be eh. good for you guys. More so, repaints. Uh, so, book club this week is going to be RID thirty five and punishment. So check that out Sunday night at nine thirty Eastern, eight thirty Central. Uh, Rick actually sent me a cut the tape on time this week, so it might actually be up tomorrow. So, Ooh. 
I know. Wow. It's exciting. Not sure what it is yet, but she sent it to me right before the show. But Don't correct your dial, viewers. This is still TFYLP doing something on time. Yeah, that doesn't happen very often. I know. So. But you guys love us anyway. Yep. All right. Gotta love um, all the wrinkles. Any Anything else or... Final thoughts? Starting to run low on figures to review. If you guys have suggestions, please let us know. Because if you I don't, I'm going to start. Good. One person on the regular cast of the show has that figure, so we'll have to invite yeah, guests. Yeah, that's, hey, that's the Rob, problem. Rob has it. He's a guest. So... And we'd be happy to have him. Yeah, you, well. You could have gotten it too, Christian. You I could had have, it on and I chose, I chose not to, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I need a customer who has my purple bicycle lady so we could do her. That's a much higher order than someone else who has a getaway. No, it is it. It's cooler. Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. It's okay. Because if we were that of figures, I'm going to start reviewing tiny chest sets. That's what this show's going to turn into. Anna's tiny chest set town. Well, I- I'm just trying no to one wants out that. why we would like review weird transforming robots that have zero connections to transformers because i'm one third of the cast of this show right but i have the influence it's a transformers podcast not a random like robot podcast this is one third anna's transformers podcast that means it includes whatever sure (laughs) We totally, okay, so if New Unrustables would have come out since the show started, you totally would have wanted to review them. Mm. You can't argue it. I don't want to anymore. <laughs> well, you, I'm saying in an alternate world where nothing went wrong. <laughs> okay, sure. <Yes. laughs> in the theoretical alternate world, yes, I, I would have wanted to, sure. We let you do Calculation King that one time. Let me. Let me. They allowed me. <laughs> we did. So kind. <laughs> there you go. Every, every third show uh, will be henceforth be Anna's oddities. Hey, that's great. I really need to find that Weijing Fire King. If anyone wants to help me find it, I need to get that before Weijing things completely disappear from Earth. Because I think they've already started. I need to get me a Fire King. To go with Calculation Keen. They're brothers. Did we not they do an IC episode? I think you covered it a ton. In, um, um, she was like, oh, episode. it's so uncomfortable. Oh. So we didn't do it. That's exactly Lucas's voice. It sounds exactly like I it. know. Yes. I'm, oh, you, I'm you covered it a really good at voice acting. acting. On uh, Ask My Wallet, though, or Oof My Wallet, or whatever. Yeah, because we had no choice. Time. But, like, yes, why do an episode after wallet. you, like, covered it a thousand times? Anyway, thank you, guys. Thank you to everyone in the chat tonight. Uh, thanks to Ron, to Catherine, to Randall, uh, to Jacob. Uh, was there anybody else? I think that was mainly it. So, but, yeah, thank you, guys. And we will see you next week. Thank you, friends. See you again.